in this session we are defining what is a graph and what are the different graph applications so to define one graph we can follow this particular definition a graph g is equal to v e consists of a finite non empty set of objects where v is equal to v1 v2 dot 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 called vertices and a finite set of objects e that is e1 e2 dot dot dot, dot called edges each edge ek is identified with an unordered pair vi and vj of vertices so this is known as a graph that means a graph consists of two sets one is a set of non empty finite set of ob objects of vertices another one is a non empty finite set of edges so in this way we are having this particular graph defined and each and every edge ek will be denoted by an unordered pair vi and vj where v and vj are nothing but vertices so look at this particular graph g we are having a b c d e f so many nodes we are having and this are this is they are nothing but a b c d are nothing but vertices and these points can also be called as nodes and these lines will be known as your edges and sometimes we can also call it as branch okay now for this particular one we are having set of vertices that is a v and they are nothing but a b c d e f and these are the set of edges we are having this a b a e a d e f and so on so here if you count we are going to have eight edges and we are we have represented all these eight edges as members for this particular set e in this way a graph will be defined so these these points are known as the vertices also known as the nodes these lines will be known as the edges also known as the branches okay now we are having other terminologies like your parallel edge let us suppose these are two vertices are there and two lines are connecting the same pair of vertices then these two edges will be known as the parallel edges we can also have a edge like this one that means from the same same point same vertex is is connected on the both ends of this particular edge and this is known as a loop so this is known as a loop this is known as the pendant vertex that means here only one line has got connected so that's why it is called pendant vertex sometimes we may have a vertex which is known as isolated vertex no edge is connected with this particular vertex it is known as isolated vertex so pendant vertex isolated vertex we are having this parallel edges this terminologies we have defined here in this particular example okay now see these are the set of different fields of applications of graphs the first one is the electrical engineering here to denote the circuit connections whether the circuit is mesh uh, topology is having the mesh topology or say ring topology in those cases the circuit diagrams are nothing but can be represented by graphs automation engineering in case of automation engineering cable layout the how the cables will be will be layout and how the cables will be uh, drawn and uh, in in this case to represent that one we shall be drawing graphs in the in those cases in case of computer science graphs are having so many different applications we can we are having bfs algorithm which will be working on graphs we will be having the game tree we will be having your uh, kraskal's algorithm which will find the minimum spanning tree from a graph so different applications are there in computer science we are having this computer network how the networks in in a network what will be the maximum flow that means from source to the target what is the maximum flow of information can be obtained so there will be having separate graph theory related applications how the computers are connected how the uh, networking cables will be laid out how the computers connections can be done that will be handled by the graphs that will be represented by the graphs in computer networking in case of linguistics we are having different parts tree to denote whether a language is having uh, syntactically okay or not so there we develop different parts tree tree is nothing but a graph in case of in general applications say uh, flight routes bus routes so they will be denoted by the graphs in case of science we are having this dna structure will be denoted by the graphs 
So in different domains, these graphs are having their own applications. So we have discussed something about the definition and other terminologies in graphs and these are the field of some of the field of applications of the graph theory. I think you are getting this idea how the graphs are playing role in our in our different domain of applications. Thanks for watching this video.